the worst WWE botches of 2024 so far. Number 10, Carmelo Hayes lands right on his head. A SmackDown match in early 2024 left everyone concerned that Carmelo Hayes had just broken his neck. Hayes was wrestling Austin Theory and as Hayes was sitting prone on the turnbuckle, Theory would lead up and attempt to perform a move that looked to be a Spanish fly. Unfortunately, this backfired and Hayes landed right on his head. There was instant concern and the sound audibly left the arena as it seemed like a certainty that Hayes was badly hurt. The referee immediately jumped into action and checked on both men and the seriousness of the botch was on full display as Grayson Waller broke character to look incredibly concerned. WWE did the right thing by instantly calling the match off and WWE would later confirm that there was no substantial injury suffered and both men were ultimately going to be okay. Number 9. Superplex since making his WWE debut, Logan Paul has mastered the art of pro wrestling. Logan is a natural at the physical art form, yet even Logan isn't immune to botches. Logan was defending the US title at SummerSlam against LA Knight, and when LA went for a superplex on Logan from the top rope, there was a clear miscommunication. Logan failed to rotate correctly for the move, so he took what was in essence a variation of a brain buster. It looked brutal and it was even reported after the match that Logan was banged up. The botcher side, this was no doubt one of the strongest matches on the respective card and a ton of credit should be offered to both men for pushing past the botch and delivering the best match possible. Number 8. Zoe Stark's Unfortunate Landing the Money in the Bank ladder match is one of the most dangerous matches imaginable. Ladder matches are dangerous enough, yet when you add up to 8 people in the match, it's naturally going to be chaotic, and it's always going to lead to a botch or two. At this year's Money in the Bank event, one of the worst Money in the Bank botches of all time occurred, as a talented Zoe Stark managed to spike herself into the mat with a ton of force. In the match, Stark would attempt a Samoan drop on Lyra Valkyria onto a ladder, and this was completely missed. But this was only part one of the botch as part of Valkyrie's arm landed on the ladder and she was clearly in considerable pain. But then Stark attempted to flip in the ring and land a move on a prone Valkyria but she seemed to lose her balance and spiked herself on her head. It looked terrifying and it was welcome news when it was confirmed that Stark was okay after the match. Number 7. Randy Orton's Shoulders Are Up under the old era of WWE led by Vince McMahon, it was rare for them to reference botch match finishes. However, in the new era of WWE led by Triple H, the audience are treated with respect, and this means that if a botch finish occurs, then it's likely going to be addressed directly. The finals of the 2024 King of the Rings saw Randy Orton take on Gunther, and the match was on course for being considered an all-time classic, but that was until an unfortunate botch finish. The finish would see Orton deliver a trademark RKO and Gunther managed to kick out whilst targeting Orton's bad knee. During Orton's moment of panic and pain, Gunther would transition Orton into a pin for the 1-2-3. The finish could have been tremendous, however it was apparent that Orton's shoulders were still up, so the referee simply shouldn't have counted the pinfall. It took the WWE commentary team a matter of minutes to address the fact that Orton's shoulders were up and Triple H would subsequently issue a statement on the event itself addressing Orton's shoulders were up and he stated that he would commit to delivering a rematch for the fans. When Gunther became world champion at SummerSlam, the next night on Raw, Triple H followed through on this promise. Orton would challenge Gunther to a match for the world title and Orton would directly reference the King of the Ring finish. This was a great touch of continuity and it was incredibly rewarding as a viewer to witness WWE actually see something through. Number 6. Jade Cargill Slips and Jade Cargill was thrown into the deep end on the main roster and whilst most of her performances have been good, there have been some notable botches during her time in WWE. At the Clash at the Castle event in Scotland, Cargill went through an incredibly rough few minutes that raised questions that she may not even be ready for the main roster. Cargill would receive a hot tag and when she leaped up the ropes for a springboard, she awkwardly slipped and fell. Cargill tried to recover, yet the next few minutes of action weren't exactly stellar. Shayna Baszler would lock in her submission based finisher and for whatever reason, Cargill began to tap out. This wasn't the match finish and Michael Cole and Corey Graves had no choice but to address the tap out. It was theorized by fans that Cargill was informing Baszler to loosen up the hold. In relation to the springboard botch, WWE evidently believed that, that the botch was significant enough to take action. As things stand, the spot in the match which featured the springboard has actually been edited off the WWE Network entirely. Number 5. Seth Rollins' Sit-Down Interview when Seth Rollins returned from injury early in 2024, WWE aired a sit-down interview between Rollins and Michael Cole that aired on the kickoff show to Money in the Bank. This interview was well received, yet WWE made a huge blunder the next month when it came to this specific interview. The SummerSlam pre-show featured a snippet of the supposed new sit-down interview between Rollins and Cole. 
The interview discussed Rollins' role as a special guest referee in the CM Punk vs Drew McIntyre match, and eagle-eyed viewers noticed something was really off about the interview. The interview was filmed at the exact same time as the Money in the Bank interview. WWE didn't even try to hide the fact that it was the same venue, and even Rollins and Cole were wearing the exact same clothes. And whilst not a huge deal in hindsight, it did virtually break kayfabe as in theory, Rollins knew he was going to take on a guest referee role at SummerSlam before he had even wrestled at Money in the Bank. Number 4. Tungaloa's Botch Debut A wrestler's debut featuring a botch is never a good sign. This was unfortunately the case for the debut of the Tongaloa character at Backlash in May of 2024. Lowe would debut during the finish of the Bloodline vs Kevin Owens and Randy Orton's match and fan footage greatly exposed the botch debut. Lowe would roll out from under the ring late and this meant that the referee had to improvise and roll out of the ring before Lowe had even made any contact. A towel also fell off Lowe's head so it appeared that Lowe was supposed to debut with the towel on his head which was obviously going to lead to a big reveal. Number 3. The Low Blow at the main event of 2024's Money in the Bank show saw a super team consisting of Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens taking on the bloodline. A key spot in the main event matchup saw Tongaloa interfere and deliver a low blow to Owens. A low blow is a basic wrestling move that is really hard to mess up, but Lowe somehow managed to botch the spot so we had to repeat the spot again. This botch received major criticism and it was a talk of social media discourse following the show. Unfortunately, Lowe botching the spot has been a trend that has been present since his debut and hopefully the Bloodline member stops botching on a consistent basis as it's slowly becoming a running joke online that Lowe is going to botch in whatever match he competes in. Number 2. Damien Priest's foot gets tangled a clash at the castle saw Damien Priest defend the world title against Drew McIntyre and the match featured a truly horrific botch that luckily didn't lead to injury. During the match, Priest would ascend over the top rope, but his foot got trapped in the ropes. Priest and McIntyre would then work together to avoid injury, yet once Priest was free, it was obvious that Priest was in a great deal of pain. Priest spent the majority of the match limping and during the post-PLE press conference, he would even state that he felt like trash. Whilst it seemed like a guarantee that Priest would have some type of injury coming out of the match, it was later reported that he was okay and had been cleared to compete. And number 1. The Botch Pin a botch during a world title match this year was so newsworthy that Triple H had to address it directly. During the Damian Priest vs Seth Rollins world title match at Money in the Bank, Priest would seemingly forget to kick out of a move. This instantly impacted the quality of the match and it was obvious that both Priest and Rollins were furious that the botch occurred. Triple H discussed the botch on a post-PLE press conference and in a wholesome move, the head of creative was quick to defend Priest from any criticism. Human beings in the ring, mistakes happen, things happen, it is what it is. It's funny for me now looking at that, if that was something I was involved in as a talent, I don't care how good the rest of it was, that would be all I would think about. And to me, it's a shame that that's all people will talk about and that's all people will hit Damien Priest with while he had a phenomenal performance tonight, but a bunch of people will attack that, criticize that, comment on that. As speaking on the New York Post, Priest himself addressed the botch and according to the former world champion, he didn't actually forget to kick out, meaning it still remains unclear where the blame actually falls. The idea that I forgot to kick out, that's not a thing. We don't forget to kick out. 20 years in, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of muscle memory there, so me forgetting was not the case. There was nothing outside that was supposed to happen, it was a matter of there was a situation, but I'm okay. Everybody's fine, the story continues, it doesn't affect anything. The show goes on and I think fans are very invested in everything that's going on. The ones that matter knew the situation and nobody thought twice about it. It was move on. Who do you think is responsible for the botch? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.